Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today, we are gonna create a Get Well card using the MFT Band-Aids die set. It was over at the Simon Shop, along with the MFT 6x6 paper pad called Wood Grain Whimsy. We'll put that aside. But the die set was super inexpensive, so I thought we would give this a try to make some Get Well cards. I like that there's a large Band-Aid and a small Band-Aid. We're gonna use the small one for our project today. But this is the paper pad. All of the prints are the same. They're just different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and trim down four lighter colors of the wood grain pattern paper and we're going to die cut out our small band-aid with those. I thought we'd go a little different today. We're going to take some red card stock and take that little heart and we need four hearts. Um, so we'll die cut out four of those. And once we're done die cutting our band-aid out, I'm gonna go ahead and you can see here, kind of takes away from the wood grain and turn those that wood grain pattern into like wonky lines. I'm gonna take the little square die and we're gonna die cut out a center. But I went through my scrap stash of cardstock and found some coordinating colors that matched the pattern paper. I thought we'd have some solid print in the middle of our band-aid. Once those were die cut, I did take the Band-Aid die and die cut out um, white cardstock with it. Um, I wanted to pop up my Band-Aids but give them a little bit of stability. So I thought we would layer our pattern paper over the white cardstock. You can completely skip this step. I think the pattern paper, if you put a large amount of adhesive tape behind it, you can get away with it. Um, but I went ahead and added my pattern paper to each one of these just for a little extra strength. I'm just taping using my tape runner. We'll line it up and then these guys are good to go. After we have this done, I'm going to bring in some glue and just add a tiny dot to each one of my squares. I'll use my my jewel picker here and we're going to add those hearts to the center of each one of our band-aid pieces. And I was shocked that I found actually coordinating colors of cardstock for my Band-Aid. But I love the way, I love the, the solid um, middles of this. It just makes the heart stand out a little bit more. Now once I have my hearts adhered, I'll take some foam squares. And then rather than flipping over each one of these little pieces, I have one extra. I went a little crazy with my little heart, but that's okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to put foam adhesive on the center of my Band-Aid. I have some foam squares and we'll just tack that down to the center. There is embossed detail to share with, to show where to put those little squares. Um, the pattern paper is kind of drowning it out, but it's there for, to help you line it up right in the center. It makes it easy. We're going to grab the jewel picker and pick up each one of our band-aid centers. We'll add the yellow to the yellow. Lovely. Got a little dimension. Go ahead and add the blue. We'll just remove the release paper here. And I think band-aids are so fun. I think I don't know why. I think my kids even like band-aids. When they were little, they used to take the band-aids and use them as stickers. I find band-aids all over the they'd want band-aids even if they didn't have an owie. I mean they would get a I guess they just liked stickers. I guess because I bought the pattern ones too. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to take my um, my band-aids. We'll set them aside and I have two die sets from Simon. Um, the first one is a Get Well Soon die. If you guys need a good Get Well Soon die, this is a real pretty font. It's a nice size and I it's less than five dollars at Simon. I'm going to die cut that out with white cardstock. And then I'm also going to be using some of the mini slimline rectangle dies the two the two second from the largest now when i when i originally separated these dies i left those little metal tabs you know the ones that poke our fingers um i left those on the inside of these intentionally this way because i make a lot of frames and this really helps me line them up to create a perfect frame they so there's little metal notches in there i would line up that's why i flipped it around I'll tape this down and I'm also going to create a background for my frame. So I took the largest one and die cut that out with white cardstock also. So we have a frame, a background. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my background piece 
I want to show you the get well how pretty it is and there is a soon too I just didn't um, we're not gonna, I die cut it but I'm not going to use it to our card today okay we we'll take the background panel I'm going to emboss it the embossing folder that I'm using is from sunny studio it's a six by six embossing folder which is nice because you could actually take this panel and emboss it vertically or horizontally however you please I'm going to use the embossing folder. I'm actually going to scoot it over a little bit to get more of that wood grain pattern. But um, this is going to go uh, vertically here. We'll run that through our Platinum 6 die cutting machine and we have a nice embossed background. Our background is basically going to stay white. So um, I need a little bit of texture with that background and it worked out beautifully. I'm going to take my frame, we're going to flip it around, and I'm going to take some foam tape and cut some thin strips and pop our frame up with some foam adhesive. I'm just going to remove the release paper and then we'll go ahead and add our frame to our wood grain embossed panel here. Just line it up corner to corner, which I didn't do very well because I have about an eighth of an inch overhanging on the bottom, <laughs> so I'm going to trim it off with my scissors and you can't even tell now. Next I'm going to add foam tape behind each one of my band-aids, have these ready to go, and I'm going, I have to get well for my sentiment. Um, I'm also going to bring in a sentiment strip pack. Simon sells these and this is the sentiment strip reverse get well. The reverse is the black sheets. So if you see the sentiment strips get well, and it's it'll be the white one. So you make sure it says reverse. Um, I, there's a sentiment in here that I'm going to use for my card. It says take it easy as you heal. And I I thought I, I want to pop up my sentiment. Now if you want to die cut out three of the get wells, layer them together, you would have dimension beautifully. But I want to skip that step and add a little bit of adhesive on the very bottom of it and add it to my secondary sentiment this way I don't have to it, it's kind of floating almost and I think it's gonna it worked out really well I put the G right next to the first letter in the T the take and um, I don't have to fuss with die cutting it out three times so it worked out great I am gonna add a foot piece of foam tape right in the middle I didn't worry about the left or right because that's going to overhang on my frame here, which we're attaching to our card base. Now my slimline cards, I've mentioned this lots of times before, are three and a quarter inches wide by six and a quarter inches tall. That's my preference. It fits in my envelopes beautifully. And I don't know if you guys know this, but a mini slimline card will fit in a regular standard size envelope. Um, I happen to like the, long, um, the wallet flap envelopes for my mini slimlines, but if you go to probably your, your supermarket, your drugstore, any kind of um, six and three quarter inch envelope will fit your mini slim lines. I don't know if you know that. It's usually the boxes that cost 99 cents. So that's why I'm in love with these two. Okay, I went ahead and added my band-aids, evenly spacing them, added my sentiment, skipping one, and then we need some bells and whistles. I'm gonna take my white gel pen and since we have a lot of white area in our background, I like to highlight something, bringing in some white to the colors. So I basically added some little dash marks to the center of the heart, or the sides of the hearts there. And then, last but not least, I'm gonna use glossy accents and go over each one of these little hearts. It's gonna add dimension, and it's also going to um, make, it, make my little hearts shiny. And then that finishes my card today for Try It Out Tuesday. Everything's listed below, and I hope you enjoyed my project. I actually oozed out over the heart. So I'm taking the reverse side, that little barrel part of your jewel tool um, to clean up the edges. It works great for that. And um, I've had a lot of people ask about my jewel tool. I'll list it down below if you guys want to check it out. But thank you so much for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. I wish you a fabulous day, and we will see you again real soon, guys. Bye-bye.